couple days ago, someone asked me to do an in-depth version of how I make my treats and pizzas, so here you go. I pour vanilla soft serve onto the cookie crumble before smoothing it down and making an outer side crust with that vanilla soft serve. Then I'll smooth down the middle to make sure the whole top surface is even. Then it's one and a half pumps of peanut butter sauce, and then I smooth that out. Then it's a couple scoops of Reese peanut butter cups. Now, a lot of you were saying I say Reese wrong, and the packaging in Canada says Reese, exactly. So that's just what I've always called it. Then in both directions of the treats of pizza, you'll add your chocolate comb coating drizzle. Then you can pop it in the blast freezer for a couple hours just to harden up. After that, you can use your rolling cutter to cut it into eight even slices. Then you'll grab some packaging and you can put that in and use a sharpie marker or a sticker to label the flavor. And then you can put it in the front display. A couple days ago, I had a lady come in wanting to order a cake for her son who wasn't the biggest fan of chocolate. So I'm not either, so we brainstormed some ideas before deciding on a strawberry and raspberry cake. So we lined the sides with vanilla soft serve as well as the bottom. Then for the middle layer, we added some strawberries and raspberries instead of our normal cookie crunch and fudge. This is an 8 inch round cake, so for the top it calls for one large blizzard. So we made that with some strawberries and raspberries. And then we used a long metal spatula to smooth it all out. After being in the blast for a little bit, we could use our hair dryer to release the sides and then comb the edges with our metal scraper. Then I added some strawberry drizzle and then some vanilla icing on the bottom of the cake and then the top. Then I added some more strawberry sauce and then added some frozen raspberries as well. The customer wanted some cursive writing, which I'm not the best at, so I had Mara do it. And that's the finishing look. We put it in some packaging and it was ready to go. Alright, so lately I've been really enjoying replying to your guys' comments, or in this case, actually getting to use it in my video. So in this case, I think she meant to say cookie dough, so we're going to make that flavor today. I added some vanilla soft serve, followed by some hot fudge, and then two scoops of frozen cookie dough. Then I can go ahead and blend. Now a bunch of you were commenting saying you didn't want to hear the background music anymore, instead you wanted to hear the DQ noise, so here you go, let me know if you liked it. Also in the next couple days I'm going to be posting a video in regards to a cake giveaway I'm doing with a local company in Hamilton. Hope you guys liked it. It's day 6 and we're going to make a moo latte. So grab a cup and then fill slush to the red line that is shown just above the blue line on the cup. Then for a small caramel moo latte, you'll do one and a half pumps of coffee concentrate and then three quarters of a pump of caramel sauce. And then you'll pop on a lid and fill the remainder of the cup with vanilla soft serve, finishing with your DQ curl. When we go to blend, we're going to change the speed to 30, just like a milkshake, and push the spindle right to the bottom of the cup and then we can blend it. After you're done, make sure you didn't miss any spots, add some whipped cream, and there you go! Today I took a last minute order for a dinosaur themed cake, so I thought I'd show you how we went about decorating it. We started by printing the image from the internet, and then we pinned it in our photo image reflector. I don't know what it's called, so if anyone knows, please comment. But it essentially works by, you pin the image and then it reflects onto a mirror, and then a light will reflect it onto the cake. So here we are just tracing it and then adding the different shades of green, an eye, and then some lines on the nose. Then they also wanted some text written, so we did happy birthday Ashley. And then the customer also wanted a green border to match the dinosaur in the middle. Great job, Mara. Then we put it in some packaging and popped it in the freezer. You guys have really seemed to enjoy the log cake video, so last night Monica and I decided to make her favorite log cake, which is turtle pecan. So we lined the sides of the ring with that, added our center, and then vanilla soft serve on top. After it's been in the blast for a couple hours, we could release it with a hair dryer to make it easier to pull off. Then we grab our metal comb and scrape the sides of the cake before adding a layer of vanilla icing on the bottom and the top of the cake. Then we grabbed some mini turtle pieces and sprinkled those on top with some pecans. Then we added some caramel sauce and then some chocolate comb coating drizzle. Great job, Monica.